everybody this is Jeremy C and we're doing another uh, construct 2 tutorial on this one um, we're gonna be talking about the global and local variables as to what you can and can't do with each different thing uh, this is kind of in reference to a scoring one somebody wanted to know how you could add level one two three together to get a total score and stuff like that so uh, this is kind of what that's based on um, so let's get started here as you can see, I got uh, subtract 100 from score. I got add 100 from score. I got text fields here, here, here. And as you can see, this is a text field for local event 2, which is not connected to event sheet 1. Okay? I have an event sheet score, which is just an event sheet by itself, and it's attached to other event sheets. As you can see, it says text on is on screen, text set scoring event equals score okay and that is shared between event sheet 2 and event sheet 1 as you can see up here at the top it says include score which is the event sheet score and in order to include an event sheet so if you need multiple event sheets for one to do different things you would go just down here where it's uh, right click you include event sheet so you could actually have an event sheet for every single different part of it instead of trying to mix it and match it and whatever okay just like when you add uh, um, text or mouse or touch when you uh, um, right click and go insert new object you you it's throughout your whole program so um, just like with the global variable if you have a global variable in your event sheet it is global to the whole thing it's not just specifically that page that's why it's called a global variable now as to uh, um, if you have a local variable it's only limited to that layout that page that specific set so as you can see the local variable is uh, set to scoring and this set with uh, score 4 which cannot be transferred to layout one it's only localized to this specific set unless we put this inside our uh, score uh, event sheet itself and say okay if we're calling it on layout one or layout two you know it, it can interact with it as long as it's a local inside an event sheet that is connected to the layout okay so that gives you a little um, information on that you can also have uh, a variable set for like text buttons and stuff that you can hook over here by clicking on this and it says uh, instant variables you can add variables here if that's what you wanted to do also text allows you to add instant variables and stuff like that so if you were like wanting to add bonuses and stuff um, you could include them in here as long as each one of these components was on the screen it would add it to a um, total or something okay so let's uh, go back to one and run this so I can show you what we got going on okay, bear with me just a second it likes to lag a little bit when it starts okay as you can see our uh, score is set to 500 default um, layout to event global this is a global variable and this is a local variable so it does not transfer over to here um, so um, has detected unusual behavior I don't know what that is somebody's having way too much fun um, so basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit plus and as you can see the score at the top is going up and uh, uh, total global score went up as those are set on here or to equal this one and this one equals our total okay now if we go to layout 2 I have it set up a little different as you can see 1800 plus 10 plus 200 equals our total local and global scores so if we press this one you'll watch uh, um, event score uh, 2 go up and event sheet non-transferable go up as you can see one's going up 10 and one's going up 15 and it's adding to the total count now what you can do is on event trigger total your score go this one this one and this one to equal this which is this total here 
So if we hit trigger event, as you can see, we're minusing from the um, top score. And as soon as this hen hits zero, then it's going to take out from this score, and then it's going to take out from this score in order to get the total score here. Okay? So let's, let's let it run just briefly. And, there you go, so. and this, is, this is an event. So I toggled uh, the oh. event to no. run when this was clicked. Okay, just about to the bottom of the first. And as you can see, as soon as it hits zero, the next one starts running. And then the next one runs until all the scores are been put together. Okay, now I trigger this one again. So now when I add score like this, it doesn't, it doesn't just continue to run. But if I were to trigger this and leave it active, when I tried to insert score into here, it would run the program until they all run out. See? So it's on a trigger, and I can add the score. And then I can also go back to the original, which also deactivates the trigger. And then go back and hit trigger. And as you can see, it continues to run out. Okay, so that's basically what we're doing is we're talking about how you can take different scores and combine them together for a totaling effect. Whether you want it to be just the plain total or if you want it to run down and get a uh, um, grand total type effect. Okay, so that's what we're doing, playing with global variables and stuff. And like I said, a global variable carries over between all your layouts. So if you're trying to make something in one layout and you're like, how do I add two variables? Because they're both uh, um, global. See, this is a global. But if you look here, this is score three. This is a, a global variable, but it's on event sheet two. If you look here at the top, it says score three, score five. These are local to uh, um, this event sheet, but can be pulled on event sheet one or score. And then anything that's in score by itself. See, this is a global variable for score. This could be anywhere else. It didn't have to be in this specific uh, event sheet to do it. Now, if we go back to this one here, you'll see uh, right here it says local static number uh, um, four. That's only able yeah. to be found on layout yeah. two. Okay, hang on, boo. Uh. Give me just a second. So, that's how it works, and that's what we're talking about. And as you can see... Um, on text visible, set text to uh, local event score and with the and score veritable. So if you were looking at it, it's the and score veritable. Okay? And the, anything in between the brackets is text. Okay? So I will let you guys go. And that's letting you know that you can transfer score to layout 1. As if you can see right here, layout 1 where score 3 is a global variable and there is no global variable inside this event sheet at all okay the only global variable that's actually kind of attached to it is this one here for regular score which is not score three score three is way over here okay so have a great one enjoy